Okay, so this is a video to go over something called the T43 method. And I'm just going to make some notes down here so you can um, see exactly what I'm saying. It is a technique or a way... Um, to, uh, to memorize polyatomics with the eight ending. So these are things like sulfate, carbonate, phosphate, uh, things like that. Um, these are uh, the atom phosphorus or sulfur uh, our carbon is paired up with oxygen. So um, uh, these are all going to be oxyanions. Now, this is not going to be all of our polyatomics, right? And I think um, in the summer work that uh, we do, you can see a list of polyatomics and you can see there's more. Um, or you can just look up a list of polyatomics. There are a lot of them. Um, but but this is uh, but this is some of them, and it's a way to memorize uh, two things. So it's a te it's it's a a method to know oxygen number and charge. All right, so those are the two things: one and two. Okay. Um, so let's talk about it, right? And it's not a perfect method. So I'm going to, at the end, maybe um, say why. So if you look at the periodic table up here, you can see that we have, uh, I'm going to outline the letter T here, or color the letter T. My, uh, I'm going to try and make, let's see, I haven't done this in a while. I'll make this a little smaller to write with, so I can color easier. Okay, so uh, you can see I have the letter T here in my periodic table, um, starting with boron and uh, going down to germanium. And then I'm gonna pick a different color, uh, I don't know, uh, blue, <laughs> Michigan colors, and color right here, uh, the number four. And you can see, or you should be able to see on your periodic table, uh, that, that the, the T43 outline, right? And so, and finally, let's get um, purple. Uh, I don't know about that. Um, let's go orange. Uh, let's get the um, number three, which you can kind of see right, right here, right? Check that out. Okay. So um, I have, right, it looks like it, uh, T43. Um, and this is a convenient way to memorize, like we said, uh, the number of oxygens and the charge. Uh, now, the first uh, thing we're going to look at is number of oxygens. So what we can say is that the T has three oxygens. So down here, where I, um, I'm going to go ahead and color in on the key here, yellow. So I'm saying that um, uh, borate or carbonate um, will all have uh, three oxygens when, when they're paired up. Um, and I am also saying then that uh, inside of the four, uh, we will have four oxygens. And inside of the three, we will have three oxygens. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I can, let me see if I can draw. And so I'm saying three oxygens. Ooh, four oxygens and three oxygens. Hopefully you can see that and it's not cut off too, too much there. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and write some of these out. I think it's kind of an interesting little practice. And uh, let me grab a, another sheet of paper here. Um, whoops, how do I do this thing? It's a plus. No, not that. Dang, I can't believe I'm so out of practice here. All right, I think it's like that. And all right, so I'll add a page. Okay, get a little room. And uh, so I'm saying, let's go ahead and write these down under here. And we'll go ahead and write uh, just starting over 
on the left, I think we had borate, then we had uh, carbonate. I'm not sure if I can fit all of them writing kind of big here. Uh, and then we had nitrate. And then we had uh, silicate. And uh, germinate. All right, and that, there's our T. Um, I think for the four, I had uh, phosphate. This would help if I had another periodic table with me so I wouldn't have to keep scrolling up. Um, sulfate, or arsenate, arsenate uh, under right underneath it. Sulfate right here. Um, <laughs> zoom in, uh, selenate and, uh, tellurium. So, uh, tellurate for that. So selenate and tellurate. Okay. I think I have too many L's on selenium. Yeah. I knew I was gonna spell that wrong. Some of these you don't see very much in chemistry. Like, I don't recall seeing selenate a lot or tellurate, uh, arsenate, um, but, but phosphate, you'll see a ton, sulfate, you'll see a ton, carbonate, you know, the same. So um, yeah, anyways, um, so there's our four. Uh, and then our three, as uh, chlorine, bromine, so we got chlorate, bromate, iodate. Um, let's go ahead, uh, let's write it like, uh, let's write it right here. These halogens we use a lot more, so. We're more likely to see these. Um, hopefully I'm not going too fast. If I am, you can always pause. And um, and then we have uh, we have our noble gases, right? Which don't like to bond to anything. So they actually don't form polyatomics, um, which is kind of interesting. So uh, we're gonna leave those off. Um, and in fact, we can go ahead and talk about that right now. And if we look down here at our key, whoops, sorry. Uh, we look down here at our key, we see not a polyatomic, right? So let me go ahead and get a different color here. We'll go purple. And we're going to, um, ooh, let's see it. All right, there we go. And so we're going to cross through it and um, for these uh, noble gases, right, at the uh, right end of our periodic table um, in group eight, right? So uh, I am saying that these right here, will not form polyatomics. So a good question is why are they in T43, right? Since they're not, um, they're not polyatomics. Uh, in fact, this kind of looks like T41, right? So we could call it the T41 method um, because we see that uh, if I, let me grab this, you know, uh, we see that this kind of makes a one right here. Right, if I leave those noble gases off. So you could call this the T41 method. Um, all right, so uh, let's go ahead then and uh, write the formulas, because I think we can write the formulas for all of these uh, underneath here. Um, yeah, let's see if we can do that. So we said anything up here in the T was going to have three oxygens in the yellow, four in the blue, three in the orange, except for the noble gases, which have none because they don't make polyatomics. All right, so uh, down here in the T, we said uh, three, so let's go ahead. I think we can write these, or I can, I have enough room to write these uh, somewhere uh, next to them. Um, so I'm saying for boron, our, uh, our letter, our, for our atom of boron, uh, our element is, is B, so we're gonna, uh, it with an O and we said there'd be three oxygens uh, for borate.
Uh, carbonate, once again, is in the T, uh, is going to, uh, carbon is our element there, and paired with an O with uh, three. Uh, nitrate, uh, capital N with an O and a three. Uh, silicate, silicate, I think is SI, and uh, ger germanium, or silicon is SI, and, and uh, germanium is GE. Um, I, let me, I am just going to, uh, to point this out right now, um, or maybe I'll point it out at the end. I'm going to put uh, uh, a question mark right here. So you might say, well, it's three. It's supposed to be the T43 method. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that. So I'll put a question mark right there and we'll come back to that. Okay, down here, this is the four. So these are going to have uh, four oxygens. So we have uh, PO4. We have arsenate. I think arsenate is AS or ars arsenic is AS. Yeah. So we're looking at uh, AS4, uh, sulfate SO4, uh, sulfur is just S. Uh, selenate, I think we said was SE. Um, once again, not one I see ever. So, um, and then tellurate, uh, I think TE. And uh, both having the O4. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just double check that okay. And now we're moving on to chlorate, bromate, and iodate. Um, these are going to be back to having three oxygens. So we're saying ClO3, uh, BrO3, and IO3. All right, cool. Um, so that's the first part of, of this method, right? The T43 method. And the, the next part is going to be to determine the charge on these polyatomics. And uh, we have a convenient way of doing that. Once again, we said that there's no charge on uh, these noble gases right here um, because they don't, I'll just put a little zero right there, um, because they don't, um, under uh, xenon, uh, they, they don't uh, make polyatomics, right? And the way it works is when we figure out the charges, we're going to start from the right and, and, uh, and we're going to go uh, from zero here to uh, negative one. And we're going to do the same things. So we're starting on the numbers, right, with, with negative one from the right. And we're going to do the same thing with the letters starting from the right with negative one. So once again, negative one starting at the uh, group seven and, and then... Uh, uh, group five having the negative one or nitrogen having the negative one. Now we have to be careful because phosphorus and arsenic, even though they're under nitrogen are part of the four. So, so we're going to see something there uh, with that. So what I'm saying is um, let's go ahead and uh, label these. Cause I think we got to do the coloring right for minus one charge down here and then uh, we'll worry about the next one. So I'm going to go ahead and get a uh, red uh, uh, color here. And, and go ahead and everything that's minus one. So chlorate, bromate, let me zoom in a little bit, iodate, and nitrate. Okay. And then we're gonna go uh, over one more for the numbers and the letters. And this next column, let's see, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and write under, um, down here, uh, to the next column over, uh, a negative two. And I'll do the same thing up here above uh, carbon. And I'm gonna go ahead and color, um, I'll grab a color here. Why don't we get, uh, I don't know, green, all right. And uh, so we're saying down here for minus two charge, we'll go green cross through. And up here, we'll go ahead and cross through these. And the same thing here. All right. And then finally, uh, minus three for right here, the next column over on both. And uh, we can go ahead and pick another color. Uh, maybe 
uh, brown. All right, and we'll uh, minus three then will be, let me go ahead and key that in. So for minus three charge, we have brown. And coming back up here, we have phosphate, arsenate, and borate. All right, and now we can go ahead and apply those charges down on our, um, on our drawing below, so or on our writing below. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with the minus ones. We got the halogens, chlorate, bromate, iodate, and nitrate. So we're saying nitrate will have a... Now, um, I think it's generally the idea um, that... Uh, the way it's usually done is a um, you write it as a one minus instead of a minus one, um, but we'll talk about that as we go through the year. Um, and uh, down here, then these all getting one minus as well. All right, and then we'll go ahead and add the minus twos in, and that was uh, let's see here that was our um, the middle part of our T, so carbonate. Uh, silicate, uh, germinate, and um, and then we had our uh, sulfate, uh, selenate, and tellurate. Okay, so we're saying um, uh, I can go ahead and just write two minus, two minus, two minus, and then down here, two minus, two minus. I probably should have picked another color. I feel like this all this black's kind of uh, tough to read and maybe I should have picked a color to make it stand out a little bit. Uh, okay. And then finally we have our one minus, which, um, I mean, I think you can guess just by looking right here, right? We have borate, which will have the one, uh, or I'm sorry, the three minus, <laughs> uh, we have borate, um, and we have, uh, phosphate and arsenate. Okay. And, uh, and now I just want to, so this is the T43 method. And, and once again, it told us all the oxygens. Um, and it told us uh, on these elements when they make polyatomic uh, eight endings for oxyanions. And it also told us um, all their charges. Now, um, uh, I think it's a neat thing. I think it's an interesting way to remember this. And, um, and it's good practice. So... Um, Finally, uh, let's go back and talk about why silicate and germinate don't have a uh, don't get three oxygens, right? I put a question mark there. They actually get. Um, let me see if I can highlight this. So, or it, maybe just erase this. Oh dang! Let me undo that. <clears throat> let me see. Uh, these erasers got sizes here, and maybe we'll go with that one. Okay. Um, so if I can just erase the question mark. All right. And uh, they actually have um, four oxygens. So it kind of breaks the whole T43 idea, right? Because it doesn't follow the rule. So, um, so these right here, kind of not part of... Uh, are, are not following our T43 method, right? And that, that's a that's a problem uh, for me. So um, what can we do, right? So uh, let's go back up here and look at that. So if we, uh, so I think T43 is nice because it makes nice shapes and it's easy to remember. Um, I guess you could say, well, if, if um, uh, you know, we already said, uh, and, I, and I'm going to kind of, um, I'm going to kind of, uh, let's see, how can I show this? Maybe just by erasing. Um, let me see. So we, we kind of, let me see if I, oh, I can't because I'm going to erase everything. Yeah, that's, that's too bad. Maybe I can just, mm, maybe I can just do this. So we're kind of saying that these, let me see if I can just, so these aren't part of it, right? And we're kind of saying that these aren't part of it. So instead of calling it T43, you could call it, uh, this is like a line or an underscore, underscore 41. Um, 
<laughs> it, but that's not as easy to remember and it's it's kind of awkward so uh, a lot of people have just memorized this as t43 um but there you go all right anyways have a good day